This morning I saw a Chinese auntie exercising, pacing through a street in a neighborhood. She was wearing a cap that's not really a cap, but it covers the forehead. Sunglasses, really dark sunglasses, and also flowery shirt. I don't remember. I'm already bad with faces, but with those sunglasses, it's really hard for me to know where she was looking at because she was like nudging her head or maybe moving her head while moving her arms doing the exercise. You know, the kind of thing that we do once we meet someone on the street. Like, was she greeting me or was she just doing her own thing, minding her own business? So I just minded my own business. What I want to take from this is, if you are wearing sunglasses and if you are looking at someone, not greeting you back, what would you feel? Would you feel embarrassed, disappointed, angry? Would you write it on your social media later? Would you ever think to yourself that maybe there is something that prevents that other party greet me back? Like not seeing my face, like not sure what I was doing. Some people will self-reflect and it will bring them to an emotional journey of self-reflection. Some will go into a spiritual journey, but others like me, the kind of self-reflection that would work the most probably is the one that brought me to the definition of a worldview. Yes, it is not really emotional journey. It's not really a spiritual journey, but it can be. But this is the kind of rational process that some people would call a philosophical journey. Asking myself about the worldview has brought me into this deep hole of philosophical questions. Let me show you. But before I start, I need to make it clear that this kind of journey is best if you have a destination in mind. You don't just ask questions to ask them. You want answers. And if you arrive to the best possible conclusion, then would you accept it or would you reject it? And it goes on forever and you will never accept any answer. If you are the kind of person who would always say no to everything, then I suggest to not go with this approach and start watching this video and refer to the best people who can guide you to your answer. Because self-reflection might not be the best for you. I mean, for the majority of people, you won't be able to find answers just through self-reflection. These kind of things require hundreds of years of knowledge and wisdom. And I would recommend you this organization. It is called Sapiens Institute. I've gone through some of the modules and it is really helpful for my journey. So to get back to the example of the exercising auntie, she was wearing tinted sunglasses, tinted with black or something. So the analogy here is she was looking at this world from her worldview and I'm also looking at my worldview and I have my own tinted sunglasses and everyone has a worldview. Don't say that you don't have because if you say that you don't have a worldview, that is your worldview. But what's in a worldview? I'm not going to go through all of this now, but this is basically what makes up our worldview. And if you want to know any of these categories in more detail, let me know and we'll go from there.